Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be how to make your eyes look bigger. Now, this is a highly requested video. I've had a few of my clients and several friends and just various bloggers that I've seen on social media and in real life ask me various questions to this effect, but essentially it all goes along with the old Hollywood classic film theme of you want to draw the attention to certain features with the eye to make it look bigger and you want to call it a cat eye, you can call it stage makeup, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but essentially it's just using dark color and light color to either make something look smaller or make something look brighter and bigger. And so all we're doing is strategically taking powders and cream gel liners and liquid liners and various other products around the eye area, particularly obviously. and putting them strategically in places that will make your eye look bigger. And now I will draw attention to the fact that everybody's eyes are different shapes. So before you go off of what my eye shape is, make sure you do your own research and hop online and just Google eye shape and see how your lash line to your crease line and your crease line to your brow line affect how you put on your shadow. This is important because my eye shape and how I need to put my dark shadow to make this part look smaller and draw the attention away from the outer corner is very different than someone who has, say, a rounded eye or a more sunken in eye or a wider eye or a more narrow eye. It's all based on your own individual eye shape, so know that first before going into this so that you don't put your shadow where I put my shadow and if we have two different eye shapes then it doesn't look right. So remember that. And also going forward take your time, practice, have many tools so that blending doesn't get mudded. I say this every video but always remember that you want to be patient with your cat eye and you want to go the thickness to your comfort level. Don't try and imitate something if you don't feel comfortable doing it. Work to within your comfort level but just know that essentially when you're doing a cat eye you want to make the point of the outer lash, the outer part of the eye, you want this part to be the thickest and try and narrow it down so then it gets smaller as it comes in. Because again, we want to brighten up the inner corners of the eye and where we put the darker shadow and the darker liner is where we want to draw attention and color and light away from the eye and to make it look smaller. That way it draws it out, it makes the eyes look more doll shaped or anime style, and that is what makes the eyes look bigger. So, as always, any questions or comments, please leave in the box below. Mm, I'm gonna say it every video and I know it and you're gonna hate it because it's so annoying, but you're gonna subscribe, click the button, do what you gotta do, show me some love. And if you guys wanna see how I do my eyes so that they look bigger, please keep watching. Bye bye. The first step is going to be to take a small round blending brush and a taupe or a light brown shadow and it can be either neutral, cool, or warm depending on your color tone. And I'm going to take and do windshield wiper motions in kind of a C shape towards the outer crease of the eye right in the occipital lobe. And I'm going to work in very short circular motions as well as sweeping motions back and forth to deposit the product. And then the next step is going to take a stiff, small, flat, round brush and taking a light cream or peach or lavender, again, depending on the tone, and dabbing it right up along the lid. And this is going to be more drag down dabbing motions. And I'm going to alternate with a round, fluffy blending brush to buffer it out. And then taking a darker, warm or cool brown color and going right up along the lash line, the outer lash line, and working in a C shape to darken the outer cord corners of the eye. And this you can go back and forth and buffer to make sure there are no harsh lines or edges and that everything blends out right. Make sure to work in smaller motions and dabbing motions closer to the crease to make sure that you're not getting product everywhere. And then to highlight the brow with the Milani highlighting pencil and matte cream, I'm taking and highlighting the brow bone and taking a small concealer brush and buffering out that edge to make sure that there is a nice blend from darker to lighter to highlight the brow bone and draw the eyes upward. And then taking a fluffy, larger eyeshadow brush and a cream color and 
setting that matte cream pencil to make sure that it does not smudge, but then this also helps to buffer any extra powder into each other, and I go back and forth between the smaller brush and the larger brush to blend accordingly. And then following the inner waterline with a white pencil, this is going to drag out the white of the eye, and it, again, makes the eyes look better, bigger by drawing the eyes down. And then taking a small slanted angle brush and a gel liner in black, I'm taking and drawing right up along the lash line. And again, small dabbing motions, more short sweeping motions. And this is going to be just to coat and color the lashes to set the foundation and kind of stencil outline where I'm gonna go in with my liquid liner later. And this also sets me up for where I want my cat eye to be. I don't want to make it too thick, but again, you want to draw the thickest part of the cat eye on the outer corner so that it draws the color away and the light away from the outer corners. And what this does is it makes the inner corners look bigger, thus making the eyes look bigger. And as you can see with the concealer brush, I'm then cutting up along that edge and making sure that there's no harsh line and smoothing out any round edges before I go through with my liquid liner. And this is the Kat Von D Tattoo ink liner and I absolutely am in love with this pencil. I have tried every liquid liner under the sun and I keep going back to this one. It gives a very stark matte black finish and it stays on practically all night. Now I will say it's better with matte shadows than shimmery glittery shadows because there is some transfer but overall this liner beats every other one I've tried. And work within your comfort level, guys. Like I said before, thicker or thinner, depending on what you like for your own eye shape. I tend to have a larger eye from my lash line to my brow line, so my liner can be a little bit thicker because you can't see it as much between my lash line and my crease line. And don't be afraid to go back through with that concealer brush and smooth out any harsh edges to make sure that that line looks perfect. Next, we're going to be curling the lashes and doing two coats of your favorite volumizing mascara. You can choose to wear falsies. You don't necessarily have to. The liner and the placement of the shadow is more important to making your eyes look bigger, but just know you wanna do less mascara on your bottom lashes because again, you wanna draw the attention upward and away from the lower lashes. And then finally setting with the MAC Fix Plus to set your makeup and make sure everything stays on perfect and to ensure no creasing or smudging. I think I got the lighting thing down. I think I almost got it. Guys, I have like 20 something videos on my YouTube channel and I finally got the lighting down, I think. But don't jinx me because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go back and edit this and I'm done gonna fuck it up too. But crossing your fingers that I finally got the lighting right.